Gas Trans Registered Microtape Registration Number AS8102472 Received August 21, 2125 Congressman Basas, Honorable Members of the Mermicoid Investigative Commission, Ladies and Gentlemen of the Press, Greetings. As I anticipated that certain quarters will be reluctant to even entertain the question of the Mermicoid's authenticity, I have taken the liberty of recording the analysis as they were performed upon the specimen. It is essential that we face the problem of the Mermicoid's pronouncement. The tests herein recorded show empathetically that notwithstanding his outwardly human appearance, the Mermicoid's chemistry is anything but terrestrial, let alone human. The following is a record of the physical assay of Exhibit A, lot number 2543. To wit, a hair-like tendril from the body of the entity known as the Mermicoid recovered by Capcom Unit 32 B of the subject on the night of his escape. An examination of the gross appearance of the specimen already reveals characteristic atypical of the hair of the terrestrial primates which twists upward in a counterclockwise direction due to the predominance of rotatory proteins. As you will observe, the Mermicoid's hair twists clockwise from its proximate end then reverses direction one-third of the way up. This phenomenon is repeated several times along its length giving rise to the unusual landscape population at its distal portion. This alone indicates the presence of some very unusual proteins. The specimen was then subjected to varying types of electromagnetic radiation, beginning with radio and microwave. Observe closely. Note the marked absence of any change whatsoever. As you will observe, the specimen began to pulsate in a highly unusual manner upon the application of ultraviolet light, whereas radiation of even shorter wavelengths were found to actually induce motion in the specimen. Observe the progress of slow rising disturbances proceeding from the distal end to the proximate accompanied by visible emission of pink and violet light from the arbilicate portion below the site of the first reversal. All throughout, the specimen displayed none of the signs of denaturation that would be expected in terrestrial keratin subjected to similar conditions. This is hardly surprising in view of the fact that the specimen's arbilicate texture suggests the presence of chitin endometrium implying descendants from the insectoid rather than the mammalian ancestor. If this is true, it would make the mermicoid the most striking illustration of the principle of biological convergence. If it were not for the fact that his apocalyptic statements raise the more urgent issue of planetary survival, this possibility alone would constitute the field of scientific inquiry for the next 10 years. Dr. Instituto A. Kadampangan, Head of Analytic Services, Philippine Orbital Research Center.